Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Let's try to solve this really interesting, relaxing and great algebra question. So which one is larger? On the left hand side we have 100 to the power 100. On the right hand side we have 99 to the power 101. So two completely different values, two completely different numbers, so which one is larger? Pause the video and try to solve it by yourself and of course I'm going to solve it here in just one minute so we can easily compare, we can easily uh, check our, our answer. So on the left hand side we have 100 to the power 100. On the first side this is like really great number because uh, 100 we can write it as 10 square, we can write it as 10 times 10, so we can easily express it in an another way, which is really helpful in math, yeah? But on the right hand side we have 99 and 101, both are uh, odd numbers, so we cannot like uh, compare, we cannot uh, express this in another way, we, can we cannot factor right here, so this is in terms of factoring, in terms of our math, math, uh, math, we don't like this number on the right hand side. 99, 101, this is not good numbers, yeah? So let's try to compare this in another way, because on the first side we cannot do this, and we need to know a really interesting tricks right here. Here. So first trick, we need to divide this number by this one. Take a look, we have 100 to the power 100, we divide it by 99 to the power 101. And just imagine if we divide both numbers, for example, the, as a result we have some constant. I don't know exactly, but let's go with some constant. I don't know exactly the value of this constant, just imagine we have some result, because we divide both, both numbers, this one by this one. And take a look closely, if this constant is greater than 1, just imagine this constant is greater than 1, then we can easily say that our numerator will be greater, because if constant is greater than 1, then this fraction can look like that, for example, 9 over 4, yeah? And if this fraction is greater than 1, then our numerator will be greater, yeah? So I hope, I hope you understand this step. And the second case, if our, our constant will be less than 1, then for example we have fraction like 1 over, uh, 1 over 3, I don't know exactly, but imagine 1 over 3, 1 over 4, just every whatever fraction you want, if less than 1, then our denominator will be, will be greater. So two cases, the first one really important and the second one really important as well, because we don't know exact value of this division. So right now let's try to divide and let's see what is the answer. So we have 100 to the power 100 over 99 to the power 101. Okay, let's try to divide it. First of all, we have power 100 right here and 101 right here, so we can easily get closer and closer to, we, we can easily create the same power. First of all, let's write this 101 as 100 plus 1. So we have like 100 to the power 100, and right here, let's write this 99 as 99 to the power 100 plus 1, yeah? So we just change nothing, we just write it in another way. And right here we need to know a really important and really great rule, take a look closely, if we have a to the power x plus y, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power y. So we can easily write it in this way, and let's apply this rule right here. So we have 100 to the power 100, and right here let's ap apply this rule. So we have like 99 to the power 100, and times 99 to the first power, okay? Okay, so the second moment, really important, we need to group elements right here, but which elements are good for us? Let's try to group these elements right here, and if you know a little bit about power rules, we can easily write it in one parenthesis, so if we have the same power, you can easily group these elements, so right here we have a, if we have a fraction, so we need to, uh, to write it as a fraction, so we have 100 over 99 to the power 100, yeah, and times 1 over 99. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. We just group these, group these elements and we separate these from this constant, 1 over, 1 over 99. Okay, right now let's try to divide this 100 over 99, let's try to write it in another way, so we have like 1 plus 1 over 99 and to the power 100 and times 1 over 99. So we hope you understand this step. If we add it, we'll have the same 100 over 99. So the same right here. Okay, right now I want to show you a really interesting trick because we create the same power as this constant. So at the same power, uh, so we have we need to create the same 99 as right here. So let's write this one, uh, 100 as 99 plus 1. Let's do this. So we have like 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power, to the power 99 plus 1, 
n times 1 over 99. And right here, let's try to apply the same rule as I told before. So this, this rule, let's apply it right here. So we have maybe complicated expression, but this is in our mind, this is our a and we have x plus y. So we have 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power 99 times 1 plus 1 over 99 and 1 over 99 multiplying by 1 over 99. So we have three complicated expression. This is not even more complicated than this one, but as you can see right now, we can easily say information about this number. This is a constant. This is not a huge number. This is as well not this not a huge number. We can easily tell information about it. This is 100 over 99, but right here we have a complicated expression. We have 1 plus 1 over 99, this is a fraction, if we, if we raise this to the power 99, it will be like a huge number, but as I told before, we need only answer, it is greater than 1 or less than 1. So, we need to, uh, to write information about these parentheses, and then we compare, of course, our final expression. So, if you know a little bit about limit, take a look closely, if limit n approaches to infinity, if we have 1 plus 1 over n to the power n, so I hope you, un you understand that this is our limit, this is a special case, in terms of limit it give us a, e, it give us e, yeah? But if you look closely, we have completed the same expression, but we, not, we don't have like uh, infinity right here, we have only n. But doesn't matter, in terms of limit this expression, the maximum of this expression, give us e. And moreover, we can we know that e equal to 2.718, uh, yeah? And we can easily say that this expression will be less than 3. This is the first really important step. So this expression is less than 3. So right now we can easily go to inequalities. So this is less than, so we, uh, I want to note it that we go to inequalities. Less than, so this expression less than 3. And then times 1 plus 1 over 99, this is times 100 over 99. And times 1 over 99, times 1 over 99. Okay? Okay? So, and take a look closely. We have 3 times 100, we have 300. And in denominator we have 99 square. But we, we don't need to calculate it because we need to know only information about this number. This is less than 1 or greater than 1. And I want to mention that this is like, of course, this is less than 1 because we have a really huge denominator. So we can easily say, as I told before right here, if less than 1, then our denominator will be greater. But denominator, this is 99 to the power 101, our right hand side. So our final answer right here, so our answer 100 to the power 100 is less than 99 to the power 101. This is my explanation to this question. I hope you understand this, but if you still have any question, write a question into the comment section, write your thoughts about it, maybe you have your own method, how can we compare these two numbers, it will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your time and have a great day, see you in the next videos, and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures.